like to first off say I appreciate everyone coming out this evening and appreciate the chamber for, for putting this event on. Um, I may get a little loud here. Um, the first question dealing with Highway 11E to exit 23, um, the, the first phase of this road I think is already pretty much uh, in progress. There's uh, people being contacted about uh, purchasing land for the right of ways. I think the concern would be for phase two and three. Uh, I think the best approach to handling that is going to be to reach out to, to the neighboring districts, uh, David Hawk, uh, Gary Hicks, and work as a team to see that that project continues and it stays on the, in the front uh, in TDOT's uh, plan moving forward. Um, I think that you, you have to build a team in order to get something like that done, especially with, when it also affects your neighboring counties as well. Um, and to address the TCAT expansion, I most definitely am in favor of the TCAT expansion. Um, as someone who has worked around the trades most of my life, um, you, you see a decline in the last few years and it's not just from the industrial side, but it's also from, from skilled labor, from contractors as well, uh, uh, heating and air contractors, um, just you know, different, different trades you see a decline in people that are interested in going in and doing that type of work. So I would most definitely want to see TCAT expanded. And as far as, as seeing that it moves forward, I think right now, uh, there has been some progress made on the older parts of the building. Uh, as far as the new construction side of it, I think we're probably waiting for the city to move its work center to its new location, and I would ex fully expect that the TCAT would move rather quickly in the construction process after that point. Um, in dealing with the drug abuse here in Hamlin County, we definitely have a, have a serious issue here. Uh, yesterday, I think there was 472 inmates in our jail. Uh, out of those, I'd say probably 80% or more are in there due to some type of crime that is drug related. Uh, as far as, as how you deal with it from a legislation issue, uh, I think that's, that's, that part of it's going to be very difficult because it changes. The drug of choice has changed. The, they, it goes from, uh, it's not just the opioids, it's also meth. There's a serious problem here with meth. Um, we think, we, we need to keep, um, I think the biggest thing we could do from a legislative side is to watch for predatory prescription uh, 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 processes or practices. Uh, we need to make sure that doctors aren't uh, encouraging people to get uh, addicted by over prescribing on, on these medications and then that forces them to go uh, looking for the drugs either by dro doctor shopping or by um, going to the street to find to find the drugs. So I, I think that if we were going to legislate that would probably be one thing that we would really need to strongly look at and I think the state has already made a move in that direction. Uh, in dealing with the in-state tuition, um, I fully believe that all lawful Tennessee citizens are to be able to take advantage of in-state tuition. Uh, I, I do have a, a, a problem, I guess, with, with people who are here, maybe by, whether they're illegal or they're here as guests of our state. Um, I don't know that they are entitled to that type of, that type of benefit from taxpayer funding. Um, I, I do think that we have a problem with, with DACA that needs to be addressed, but that needs to be our federal government. They need to step up and they need to do their job and address this problem. Um, with all of that said, we just talked about where, what we would like to see with our TCAT expansion. Our Tennessee College of Applied Technologies do not have an, an in-state or an out-of-state tuition. It is one t tuition. We have industries here that are begging for people to work in highly skilled, trained jobs that are good paying jobs. 
These are not the factories from 1960. These are, these are factories here that are good paying jobs and we need to encourage people to, to look to those jobs. As for Tennessee's next priorities, we need to keep on top of our economic expansion. We need to uh, improve our opportunities here in Tennessee. We need to make sure that we work with the Trump administration on immigration issues and trade issues. We need to make sure that we're not hurt by some of the trade issues that are coming up. Now, we need to make sure that Tennessee has a seat at that table. Thank you all. I appreciate your vote and your support.